Hey and welcome back to Stu Balls Tech. Today we are going to be upgrading our ROG Ally in under 5 minutes from a 2230 to a 2280. The 2280s are significantly cheaper and more readily available on the market today. I was able to find a 4TB 2280 for the same price that I could find a 2TB 2230 drive with a bracket. To do this procedure we want to make sure the ROG Ally is completely powered off and then we are going to remove the 6 screws on the back. We are then going to use a pry tool starting at the triggers and go into the seam to pry off the back plate of the ROG Ally. Another reason that we want to do this operation is 2280 drives are more likely to come with heat sinks, which are important to the operation of our SSDs. This will become more apparent as you're gaming longer, the SSD won't get as hot and you'll see less throttling. Now that we have the back plate off, we now need to unplug the battery. To do this, we just grab the cable and slightly pull out. You might need a pry tool if it doesn't come out easily. The plastic sheet to expose your current M.2 drive. Now we need to remove the current M.2 by using a Phillips head screwdriver. Once you have that screw removed, it should be fairly easy to remove the M.2 drive. Slightly lift and pull towards the bottom of the ROG Ally. Next we need to install the adapter that goes from 2230 to 2280 at a 90 degree angle. As you can see here, we just slide it in the same way that we pulled out the other one. Next, we'll need to install the screw that comes with the bracket to hold the bracket in place. The drive of choice for this particular project is a Crucial P3 Plus in a 4TB model. I show a thicker heatsink that I installed as M.2, but I went back later and replaced it with a thinner one to ensure that it didn't push against the back. I install this by pushing it into the bracket, pushing it down, and then putting the screw in to hold the M.2 to the bracket. Use the screw that was holding the original M.2 in place as the head is normally a little wider to ensure the M.2 is held in place. The next step is to use side cutters and to cut the back plate to ensure the M.2 does not interfere with the back plate. As you can see here, I marked four spots that I saw that interfered with M.2. Because this is plastic, it is fairly easy to do and doesn't take a whole ton of pressure in order to slice these off. For mine, I clip them as close as I can to the back plate to ensure maximum compatibility. I suggest doing some test fits to make sure this works. Now we need to reinstall everything. First thing we need to do is make sure to plug in the battery. I've done it a couple of times where I've taken it apart and forgotten to plug in the battery as I was rebuilding it up. After plugging in the battery, align the back plate, push it down, and then insert the six screws that are needed on the back. Thank you for watching this video this far. If you liked it, please like and subscribe to make sure you catch all the content that I make. I will have all of the equipment that I used linked in the description down below so that you can do this mod yourself. I highly suggest anybody who has an RG Ally to do this mod as it increases performance and is significantly cheaper than switching it out with another 2230 drive. Good luck and we'll catch you in the next one.